see me here. Kaya might be the um, the next up and coming yoga teacher, the youngest one maybe. She's doing all these yoga classes at such an early age. You can teach all your friends, Kaya. All right, guys, we're going to get started now. So today's theme is release tension. So the reason why we want to come back and do classes like this where we're releasing tension is because it's quite easy for us to hold on to emotions that then store in our body as tension. Um, so maybe you've got sore hips or a sore back um, and it, it doesn't always have to be because you did something to cause like a physical type of injury. Sometimes this can come back to being a, a bit of an emotional um, block or um, storage container for you. Uh, so it's really important to just keep coming back to practices like this and all the other ones just to continuously um, get moving, moving all the joints, opening up and just releasing different tensions and sometimes you might find that it may bring some things up, you might feel like crying, you might feel suffocated, you might find it hard to breathe. But it's important to just do the practice, keep breathing through these feelings that you're getting, ease back on some of the stretches and um, yeah, just give yourself the time to, to release them. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Um, so today you'll need a yoga mat, a rolled up towel and a pillow if you've got one. Don't necessarily need the pillow, but would be advantageous. So I'm just sitting on the edge of the pillow just to pop myself up because it makes it more comfy. And we're just gonna sit cross-legged. And then we're gonna roll up our towel like this and then grab each end of it. And as we inhale, we're gonna draw the towel up and then exhale, bringing the towel down. And again, drawing it up, opening the chest. And drawing it down. If you've got a longer towel or a scarf or something, then you can go all the way back. I just, my flexibility isn't that great. I would need a longer one. So inhale up, feel the stretch in the chest, open everything up and then exhale down. Let's do a couple more of these just to open up the chest and the shoulders. Just releasing some tension here. I'm just going to pop the towel on the ground, pop it over to the side and we'll use that again later. And then just popping your hands on your knees and rolling. So just doing a few circles here. So we're just opening up the spine. So open the chest as you come down and then round the back as you come up and around. So you might find this easier without the pillow underneath. This Feeling into the breath here, so inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose or through the mouth if you want to. That feels a bit more comfortable for you at the moment. And then circling in the other direction, so going the other way. Kimmy Forbes is here. Jade's here, welcome guys. I'm so glad you can join. Hopefully you've got time to join in, otherwise you can watch the replay. So nice gentle movements to release the tension in the spine and in the hips. And then we're just sitting up tall. 
We're going to keep our right hand on the ground. Inhale the left arm up. And then exhale as you stretch over to the right side. And then inhale up. And exhale, stretching over to the left side. Moving with the breath. Inhale draws you up. Exhale stretches you over. Nothing too strenuous. Just do one more each side and then we're going to get into the hips. Okay, so staying in that nice cross-legged position, we'll keep the right foot in front of the left foot. And then you can pop the pillow underneath your butt. Otherwise, if you don't have a pillow, that's fine. And then all we're going to do is walk the hands forward. And just to where you're comfortable. So I'm actually going to use my pillow to pop in front and give me a little bit of bit more support under my tummy. That can feel nice and comfy. I'm just flexing the feet in this position, so keeping them flexed like this rather than pointed to protect the knees. And you'll just feel more of a stretch in the right buttocks area, the right hip. You might also feel this in the left hip as well. But because the right leg's in front, you're going to probably feel it a little bit more on that right side. And just really breathing into this pose. So let the, let the head hang, just relax the head onto a pillow or build a little stand with your hands. or some stretches like this that you that you would suddenly realize how much tension you're holding on to. I'm switching sides, so just popping the left foot in front this time, flexing the feet and then using the same options here. So coming forward, Building a little stand with your hands, you can pop the pillow under your belly for extra support. Letting the head relax. So you don't, you really don't want to be holding on to anything here. That's why it's nice to just build a little stand for the head. say to me before that they don't like doing yoga because it brings up a lot of feelings and it can be quite tough to work through. And I'll tell you that's more, the more reason why you should do it. Because you're allowing yourself that time and space to move through whatever it is that you're holding on to. Coming up to a seat, we're going into pigeon, so a lovely, yummy hip stretch pose. So all you're going to do is pop, um, how can get into this? Maybe sitting like like I am at the moment. I haven't thought about this well enough. Um, and then keep your pillow nearby just in case you need it. We're going to keep the right leg in front. 
and we're going to make a bit of a right angle with the um, the front leg otherwise you can keep it in if you go the right angle you're going to get more of a stretch and then we're sending the left leg out the back and then rolling on, rolling in so that our hips are nice and square so the way you can use the pillow to support you a bit more is by popping it under the right cheek so that you're not getting too much of a stretch so that feels really good nice and supportive and like I said, keeping the right foot in to feel less of a stretch. Otherwise, you can bring the right foot out, get a bit more of a stretch. And you just feel into this, breathe into it and go where it's comfy for you. So you can either stay up tall or you can come a little bit lower. If the pigeon stretch, this stretch really isn't working for you and it's really uncomfortable, then just go back into that cross-legged fold because it's, it's really working similar muscles in that cross-legged fold. And once again, letting the head relax if you're leaning forwards. Focusing in on that right hip, breathing into it. breaths here in pigeon and then we're going to change sides that extra support and then straightening that right leg out the back and you can either stay up tall if you're really feeling this stretch if it's hurting your back or hurting your knees then go back into the cross-legged fold otherwise if you're feeling quite comfortable then just coming down and breathing into that hip area that buttocks area on the left Another few breaths here and then we're going to finish off with a really soothing pose.
back up. Now for the last one, if you've got a yoga mat, rolling your yoga mat up. Otherwise, if you've got another towel, then just using a towel. We're gonna lie that down on the ground and then we're gonna use our towel. We're gonna sit at the very front of the rolled up yoga mat. And then we're gonna place the soles of our feet together. And then we're gonna wrap the um, towel around the ankles and in, so fold it in. And then release the hips and the knees so they come out, so there's like a nice support over the ankles there. And then we're gonna lean back. So the yoga mat's right where my butt is. I'm gonna lean back onto the yoga mat. And then stretching the arms out. So you can either have them so joining the hands at the top or the closer you have them to the body and, and if you have them bent towards the body or straight and that's going to be less of a stretch. So just go to where you're comfortable. So I'm just going to go with about a 90 degree angle here. I'm going to stay here for about a minute guys. So just really relax into this one. Relaxing the eyes, relaxing the forehead, relaxing between the eyebrows, the third eye. either stay here if you've got time or wiggling the fingers and the toes, releasing the towel from the ankles, rolling over onto your right side, taking the breath here. Thank you very much for joining me.
and if anyone would like some more assistance with releasing emotional tension and anxiety then I have discovery sessions I have a book now uh, button on my Facebook now um, so all you have to do is press that button you can book in for a free 45 minute chat and any time that suits you it's um, my calendars up there so you can book in a time that suits you and yeah I'd love to chat it's obligation free it's just about connecting with me and finding out a little bit more about each other okay thank you